game time. Ding, ding. Are you ready? Are you ready, Julie, for some games? I don't know because I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> okay. So the game is called Marriage, Menopause, or Motherhood. I'm going to give you a scenario and you have to tell me which one it is. Okay. There are no right or wrong answers mm -hmm. and there are no prizes. And some might say there is no point of this game. But we're going to play it <laughs> I'll anyway. Deter I'll, I'll, I'll determine that. Okay. Scenario number okay. one. You walk in the door after a really busy day. It's raining out. You're tired. You just want to make dinner and veg out on the couch at some point later on. Mm -hmm. As you walk in the door, soaking wet, you trip over a golf bag that your husband left on the floor. Mm -hmm. Your kid's boots all scrambled all over the floor. You wipe out. You land on your hands. You are beyond furious. You're Savage. eyeing the nine iron and mm -hmm. thinking if you will go to prison mm -hmm. if you use it. Man. Is that marriage, menopause, or motherhood? I'm gonna say that's m motherhood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even that rage, that crazy rage, the nine iron rage you felt. Well, I, though I probably would have directed that more towards whoever left the nine iron there, which would have been a marriage situation. It could be a combo deal. It could be. Uh, yeah. I think all the people must die. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really thinking of this think, as a death oh, game, but okay. I, I, okay, I thought maybe I killed I, I, no, the marriage people and the mothering people. No, we're trying to keep With you out of jail. Oh, trying okay. to keep you out of jail. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're sitting in a room full of people. There's tons of people. There's tons of body heat. Mm -hmm. Your kids are climbing all over you. Your husband's heavy petting. You're sweating. Your body is replicating the temperature of the Earth's core. <laughs> marriage, motherhood, or menopause. Oh, oh, that could be the trifecta, because mother. You can't keep going for trifecta. But but that's the mother, the kids, and then the marriage, the pine, <laughs> and, then the, and then the and then the heat could be a hot flash. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. It's a trick, man. It's a trick question. I mean, because I've I felt that heat. Yeah. Like when I had all those babies and like holding babies and babies, babies, and then like a grown up would go to touch you, you're like, oh, just no, <laughs> just personal space. Yeah, I've been back away. manhandled all day. <laughs> I just need a little personal space right now. Yeah, totally agree. You're running late, you have a meeting, mm -hmm. and just before you walk out the door, your husband announces that he has to leave earlier than you because he forgot he has a meeting, it didn't go into your joint calendar. You also have to get two of the kids to the dentist and the rest of the kids to school and your nanny has the day off. He leaves you, abandons you, the kids are going crazy, you can't get them organized, you feel the anxiety building and building and all of a sudden you explode like yeah. that volcano in Yellowstone National Park. Mm -hmm. You are that level of explosion. Marriage, menopause or motherhood? Can I add D-I-V-O-R-C-E to this? <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Uh, but that would be not yeah, the end look, of marriage. I would have organized to have, figure out who's got a, like the dentist thing, the kids going in different directions. I would have organized that. Um, if he had a sudden meeting, had to leave to go out, I, I probably wouldn't be that freaked out because it's not like he's going because he's got a date with a stripper, right? Like <laughs> they're going to work. Like I get that. Like yeah. meetings happen. So um, I'm actually going to say that situation as horrible of it as it sounds. It wouldn't freak me out that badly. Okay. Sorry. I'm really functional. You're not playing the game properly. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not playing. I bet you are She's great. She's blaming me for not playing properly. You're probably a lot of fun with Monopoly. Um, <laughs> the point is, you did get that. Oh, right. Overwhelmed with anxiety. Mm. And I would argue that's menopause because anxiety is a menopausal symptom. Oh, true. And if you don't normally get that right. riled up, but you find yourself getting riled up to the point you're like, this is not me. Okay, so okay. I think I got that one wrong. It was menopause. I'm going to have to take five points away from you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought there were no points. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> I forgot that I said that. She's all like power with the rules. And the... No, they're called that menopause. <laughs> does, does being a control freak with gaming, is that a part of menopause too, no, Jack? that is a part of being amazing. Okay, Julie Cole, last question to win a point back. You walk through the kitchen, you're in a bit of a rush, you're trying to get something done for work. The kids are calling you, they need something. Your husband's mm -hmm. calling you, he can't find something that is hiding in plain sight. Mm -hmm. 
You put your reading glasses down. You walk away. You help him locate the big, large object right in front of his face. Okay. And then you help the kitties with their little situation. It could be a fight. could be whatever. You come back into the kitchen. You've got to read an email. You cannot find your glasses anywhere. Right. Marriage, menopause, or motherhood? You know what? I'm going to go with menopause on this one. I know that, you know, sometimes you get forgetful. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just part of it and in fact I've always been a little bit that way and I always think when I'm like 80 I gotta remind myself that <laughs> I don't have dementia I don't have Alzheimer's yep I think you're right it is okay yeah because it's like obviously like a huge part of menopause is forgetting the very thing you right. just did you know I tell my kids to do chores I tell them to do that and they're like, oh, sorry, I, I forgot. So I think I might have six menopausal children. You might. You just... Oh, a house of hormones. <laughs> <Yeah>. What fun. <laughs> so Julie Cole, you ended up with one whopping point. Uh-huh. But it's not about winning. It's about me winning. <laughs> <laughs> Always. But nobody wins in menopause, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what? Yeah. You now know a little more about menopausal symptoms. True. And I slid them in there because yeah. I want to also show you sometimes those symptoms can be confusing between menopause your husband, your kids, and your life. So we're gonna be talking more and more about some menopause symptoms as we go on. And uh, we'd love to hear from our viewers to see if anyone else is starting to see those symptoms sneak in. Don't forget to subscribe. Write it down, don't forget. Don't subscribe. Forget. Now, now. Do it right now. <laughs> Before you forget. Before. <laughs> <laughs>